Howdy y'all, DJTJ here with AOS on Tabletop Sim Part 6. And in this one, I'm going to cover the in-game interface. So, we've got our board set up, we've got our models out, got a bunch of um, parts and everything we need to play the game. But I'm going to sort of cover what everything does. And this will not be super in-depth, this is just an overview and some of the things that um, I think you should know. The first one is, and you can, well, let me start by saying this. There is quick commands to go through all of this. You can reset those quick commands if you go into the uh, configuration under controls. So if you want quick keys set up and different things, this is the place to do that. And if you hover over, you can see the pop-ups where it will tell you everything you need to know. So here is the main pointer. Now the main pointer is your selector. It's what you're going to be on like 75-80% of the time. Okay, so you can grab and move anything that isn't locked and we'll talk about that later. Now how I'm adjusting the camera is using I hold down the right mouse button and it will allow you to spin up, down, over. This is very important in this game to get to a top-down view, especially for measuring. So if you're in a top-down view, you can set models out and look exactly where things are and get a good view that way. The other way to move around the board is with the WASD keys. So if you're familiar with first-person shooters or most PC games, you will use the WASD keys. So now you can move around just like that. Okay, the next is the draw. Now, you can use boxes and circles and different things, but really the pen is what I use the majority of the time. You can adjust the color here to whatever you want, and I use the pen. With the pen, you can just write anywhere on the board. Why is that beneficial or handy? Um, I use it probably every game that I've played in AOS, I've used it at least once. You can count wounds on guys. He's got three wounds. Or you can you can denote that this moved. Okay. Um, so if you don't want to play with the little buttons and chits that mark and do all the stuff, you can come over to here and say he's now minus one to hit. Alright. So I enjoy using the these um, this pen tool and just to uh, annotate things on the board. Now, if you want to erase something, obviously here's the eraser, and you just go over the top of it, and each one of your marks it'll go. The line tool is a super important tool, especially for setting up things. When we're setting up the board, if I want to, hey, this is going to be the center line. I take the line tool and I click, hold, and drag it out. It makes a solid line and goes there. Now we have a line on the board and you can denote that and measure from it to set up your you know, your deployment areas and all that. Now here is something uh, of note with this, especially with these AOS boards I've found. A lot of times we'd wanna draw the line from here to there. It actually goes under that board so you have to start drawing on top of the object that you're drawing on. So if I wanted a line here, I'd have to start on top of that. If I wanted a line under it, like there we go. All right. Now, these are super helpful with laying out your deployment zones, like I said. The next is the zones, which I really... I don't really use these too much, but you can set up, especially if you're playing with Archeon or somebody that may have um, hidden areas that you want to, to leave hidden from the opponent. So you can, you know, have a dice or if you had a roll, they can't see in that, um, but you can. So, and you can make them opaque where you can't even see it. There, there are some pretty good functionalities with these hidden things. And I imagine that... Um, in other games, it's a pr these are pretty important tools. AOS very sparingly uses it. All right, so here is the line tool. Now this is the measurement tool. So when you are measuring out your deployment zones, 
you will need to use this tool. And to use it, you simply go to the, well, I like to go to the top down view. I will find where I'm measuring from, click, hold, and drag, and it'll go out in inches. Of course, you can set it to whatever measurement that you want. And you can measure from models. So I have this model here. If I hover over it and measure, look how it snaps to the base. Okay. So I can measure if I have a bubble of, you know, let's say this had a 12 inch bubble. I can move this out to 12 inches. And now I can check that hole around him from his base. The flick is for flicking. Um, if there was a game you were playing with flicking or you were just mad at your opponents. Uh, combines, you can combine objects together and lock them. Uh, and then the, re the scale is probably the last one that I really use. And the only reason I say this is that there are some good functions for if you had um, terrain or if you had an object that you wanted to use, you can select it, go to scale, and scale it up oh and it's kind of finicky there we go so if you go from the different axis and of course you can just type it in there if you wanted to scale something up and I guess the only reason like I've used it to scale some of these counters up a few times maybe terrain that you wanted to scale those are generally the main things that you want to use over there on the sidebar up top you can click on games and games brings you to your load screen so if you did want to load in a basically a whole new game that's where you would do that objects this is what you will use to um, load saved objects or already used components that come with the game tables backgrounds all sorts of stuff we'll go in depth on that later uh, music you you can adjust or play music in the game you have a notebook plenty of options uh, modding, which I've never really worked with, but this is how you would mod and make tables. And the ever-hated flip. So if you hit that, it will flip the board. And basically, the game's over. Unless you rewind the time. So <laughs> these are the forward and rewind on times. So if somebody made a mistake, you can go back. Sometimes it works really good. Sometimes it goes further back th or not far enough back. Um, and then your menu button, you can always get out of the game by going to main menu. All right. And that about does it. That is a very quick down and dirty overview of all the tools and stuff you will need to play this game. Thanks for watching.